What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the G Creation Dark Blade, their version of a dark six shot. So, I just recently looked at the DX9 Dark Hanzo, their version of a dark six shot, and that was sent to me by my Michael Rogers. I don't have it anymore, I sent it back to him, but this one was sent to me by Carl S. Thank you for sending stuff out like this. So I don't have them to compare, but they are somewhat similar in their color scheme. But the designs obviously very, very different. Um, let's take a look. This one has a lot of gold, especially here on the knees and on the chest. All that paint detail. You got the pinkish purple here, which is similar to the other one. Nice silver detail here on the feet. You do have kind of a cover down piece here. You can kind of do it two different ways. You can have to put this in and have this on top. Or have it this way. I think it looks better like this, but you can do it either way. Um, but it does have that cover down piece if you want it to uh, look that way. This piece actually just folds up, so in the box it might be folded down, so you might need to fold that up once you get it out of the box. But there you go. These are on ball joints, they're really nice. By the way, these are die cast down here, the feet, and then the knee pieces, this black piece you see here with the gold, that is all die cast as well. Here's the back, pretty darn clean. More details and accents all over this guy. Now, it does come like this in the box. In order to get any articulation out of it, you're going to want to open these up. And that'll expose those knee joints. So, you're going to want it like that. I, but I just wanted to show you how it came in the box. Now, let's go over his articulation before we take a look at what he comes with. So, the head is on a really cool joint. It's got a ball joint that gets all the way up to there. Down to there. But if you lift up the neck, you can get even further down, so he can look way down. Because he's a big character, that's kind of nice. So you can look at any direction, side to side, rotate all the way around. I mean, really, one of the most articulated heads I've seen. These wings can move in and out, and also rotate, so those can move out of the way. Shoulders rotate all the way around on a ratchet joint. They go in and out on a reverse butterfly, and there's some painted detail there as well. So that's kind of cool. You get in and out movement here on the shoulder two clicks, and then the actual shoulder piece itself can also go up. So there's a lot of articulation that's really quite impressive. Uh, these arms are also maybe out of whack in the box, so I think you want it like this, with this piece on the top. The hand folds down into this little cavity here, but either way, you can rotate here at the upper bicep, which is really tight here at the wrist or the lower elbow. You have a rotation at the wrist. 90 degree band out of here. Now, if you do it the other way, yeah, so you get about the same, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it does go backwards though, just due to the design, so you can get it kind of posed either way. Rotation at the wrist, individual articulated fingers, really cool fingers. You can splay them out. You have one, two pins, so uh, really nice. This reminds me of uh, the Mastermind Creations hands for Optus Pexis. They're very similar. And then this can go in and out and up and down on a ball joint and then a single pin. So there you go for the hands. For the waist, you have a rotation here. You do get ab crunch on this guy, so it's right here. It's kind of hidden, but it's in the middle. Right there. Not a lot, but you get some, so that's nice. Continuing down, you have some hip skirts here. Let's get this arm out of the way. So this is actually a double hip skirt, and that's actually part of the transformation, so you do want to move both of them out of the way. This one kind of gets stuck right here, so make sure you have this rotated forward, otherwise it'll they, they kind of hit each other, and I just don't want to break them, so just be careful with that. Thigh is on a ratchet, it goes up to there, back to there, up to the side, nice tight ratchets on all of this. Rotation at the thigh. The knees are very wonky, so like I mentioned, you want to open up that tab there. These, you just have to kind of understand what's happening in here. So it might take a little bit of effort to pose the knees, but it's got plenty of articulation. So if you go up to there, you know, it seems kind of limited, but if you open up this panel, you get the full rotation. So you can get a double jointed knee, gets you a huge bend there. 
Um, you have this little piece sticking out, but I, I do, I give them credit for it because it really works. You know, this knee pad here, you can move up and down, goes down to there, up to there, so you can kind of cover up that knee and get him, you know, posed however you like. This ankle has a lot going on. So, first of all, it has a joint here that goes all the way to, this is die cast, this is die cast. This foot is on a ball joint, so it goes in and out, up and down, rotates on that ball joint, and it goes in and out, so you can get an angle on that. Now, it does come with quite a few weapons, so first of all, he's got chest missiles there, painted red, that looks really cool. I don't remember seeing that in any other six shots, so that seems like a unique feature on this guy. You also get his guns here, you get two of these painted nicely in this, well, it's gray plastic with a gunmetal Silver there. We can fold out his handle here. You might need a spudger. There we go. Looks like that. And that can fit in his hand. There is actually a tab spot for it. So this will tab in very, very securely. Really tight fit. And then the fingers go around. It looks great. Great looking guns. And of course you get two of those. So you also get these, which I called spears in the unboxing. But somebody had to correct me in the unboxing and said they're kunai and not spears. So kunai, whatever. Uh, but these he can hold in the hands like that. By the way, I'm not a weapons expert. So I may from time to time get these names wrong, but there you go. So you also get some throwing stars. You get two of these. And these can just fit on his hand. Or maybe on his thumb or whatever you want to do. Um, but basically you can just hold this in here. And they're pretty nice looking. I, I kind of like how they look, but there you go. You can also kind of stow things away on him. So he comes with a bunch of adapters. And they look like this. And one side is a peg and one side is a little tab like that. So you can store the kunai up there and let's see does this go somewhere these can probably fit here on the sides of the his hip skirts so there's a bunch of different things you can do you can store stuff away it's really kind of up to you how you want to display it. and the last weapon is kind of the best weapon it's the most unique is this die cast sword painted beautifully in this metallic purple and metallic gunmetal. This will fit in this. It's actually opposite. So the end is shaped this way, but you want to put the sword in the other way. It'll fit in like that. And if we take off this adapter, which we're going to use later in the alt mode. So just keep in mind, this is meant for alt mode. But... And then that can allow you to take this and fit it into here which looks really cool. You, know, you can hold that sword, that's really nice. Or you can take the sword out and peg this into his hand. Same kind of peg we had with the other weapon. And he can hold that really securely. It's a great looking sword. Um, probably the one of the best swords I've seen from a six shot. And for quick size comparison, there it is next to the MP44 Optimus Prime. Pretty darn big guy. Will fit in nicely next to the MP Ultra Magnus or maybe even the new Ultra Magnus we're getting from x Transwatts. But yeah, he, he's a big bot. Fits in nicely with the Masterpiece skill. And since I know this is one that people will probably ask me about, there it is next to the Fans Toys version, Hydra. And I was surprised. It's actually much bigger than the Fans Toys. And I already thought the Fans Toys version was huge. So this is a really big bot, but... Um, it does look really intimidating and menacing. All right, now let's get this guy transformed into his alt modes. Now, since this is an older figure, at least the original release from 2016, uh, we're not going to spend time here uh, showing the transformation on camera. I may make a separate transformation video just in case people need help. But for this one, we're going to skip straight to alt mode. So we'll get him transformed and we'll be right back. And there you have Dark Blade in his truck or vehicle mode. I actually think it looks really cool. I don't know if it looks exactly like the cartoon, but you got a, a canopy here or like the actual front of the car. 
These gold pieces actually end up looking really cool here because it becomes the front. You got these guns up here. The wheels here do roll. So there's two on each side and then on the bottom you have rubber tires right here and those all roll. So it does roll pretty nicely on those. If you want an additional gun you can take the sword sheath here and just plug it in right here and then that can be angled up and down and obviously rotate it on that. So that's pretty cool. And for size comparison there it is next to the Transform Element Optimus Prime. Obviously a pretty darn big vehicle here but there you go. Alright and there we have the tank mode. And it, it's actually pretty cool looking. You got the two cannons here, got the ones inside here. There's a little bit of a gap here in the middle, but and then this is a alternate cannon. You can kind of lift this up. These can rotate. These can rotate up and down as well. This one can move a little bit as well, so I kind of like that. But it all kind of fits. Here's the side. It does have actual treads that move. Um, to make them move, you kind of have to push down on it, but it does actually roll. It's one of the only six shots that has a working rubber tread with wheels. Here's the back. kind of looks nice with those gold parts. But overall, a nice looking tank mode. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Transform Element Optimus Prime. This is a big tank, but I think it looks cool. Obviously it would tower over Ultra Magnus if we had Ultra Magnus here, but there you go. And there you have Dark Blade in his jet mode. Jet mode is always my favorite for six shot. Pretty cool looking. You can take these off if you don't want them there, but I think it looks kind of cool having these weapons. But if you want them to look more g one you can take those off. These can go up and down. Got some nice detail here that shows up from the other modes, all that painted detail and accents. Here's the back. Pretty cool looking jet overall. It doesn't really have uh, wheels or anything. It has these feet become sort of skids and then the sides of these wings sort of serve or act as skids. So you can just kind of sit on that. And for a quick side comparison, there it is next to the Transform Element Optimus Prime. Nice big jet. Um, fits in nicely with the Masterpiece. And there's the gun mode. Probably one of the, one of the worst modes of all. Um, it's, it looks fine from the side but it's just I mean it just looks like the robot but there it is you got two sets of guns on the front you can hold the handle the, the legs tend to flop down a little bit as you do that so not the most effective you can pretend this is a trigger here a little piece but there it is not the best but it'll do especially since it's a six changer and there's your wolf mode and I actually kind of like this one uh, the color scheme definitely helps here with this mode. It's a little wonky in the back, but overall it's pretty good looking. You can get him in some, you know, kind of aggressive stance. You can get him out wide. The head, let's go over to the completion. The head can go up to there, down to there. If you lift it off the neck, you can get even higher. And any rotation, no. The ears can go back and forth, but pretty much it makes sense to go back. Mouth will open all the way up to there and down to there. The shoulders will go in and out on that same butterfly joint, rotate around. You have a rotation here at the bicep, although you probably want to release this. And actually, I probably should have that folded up. So Now you can rotate here or here. You can bend here on the ratchet. And then this toe can go back and forth, and it's on a ball joint, so you can get it kind of angled however you need to to have this look like that. Coming to the back, this tail here, if you don't like the tail at all, you can just take it off, right? You don't have to have the tail, but this is the sword sheath, so you can use it here. And that can rotate back and forth and go up and down. The legs can go up and down here, bend at the knee, and then you have ankle tilt this direction, and uh, pivot back and forth. So some nice movement on there. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Transform Element Optimus Prime. Pretty big wolf here. So final thoughts on the G Creation Dark Blade, their version of Six Shot. Let's start with the positives. The paint scheme and the overall look of this guy is really, really cool. Everything just kind of translates well. The purple and pink and the gold is just a good color scheme and it contrasts really stands out. I love the weapons. 
there's something really cool about this particular version of Six Shot just because of the way the weapons integrate, um, the way they look. Um, this sword especially, that's kind of the highlight of the weapons here, is not only the way it looks, but it has a sheath and the sheath mounts and it just all looks really good. I do like being able to put all the weapons on there. You could probably find spots for them even on the alt modes, but it's most important here in the uh, robot mode, so I think it makes sense. All bones are pretty good. Some of them are a little weird, but that's to be expected with a six shot. You know, you're not going to get all the alt modes right. There's always going to be one or two that suffer. Uh, but nonetheless, I definitely recommend it, especially if you're a fan of this color scheme. This is a great version of six shot. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Carl for sending this out. We'll see you next time.